Well, Kev, uh, another long year for yourself. Uh, started the year at the nines and finished the year with some, some rep footy. How's the body feeling heading into 2017? Yeah, um, it was obviously struggling towards the back end of the year, a lot of footy. But, um, you know, after the break, definitely felt refreshed and um, well rested. So, you know, we've, had, uh, we've been back at training now for a couple of months. So, um, yeah, been good. Um, obviously, just our second week now, back after Chrissy. But, um, yeah, all things, are, all things are looking up and just slowly building it um, as we get closer to round one. Obviously, you've been in the NRL for a while now. How do you find the workload, I guess, of you know, starting there at the Nines and playing all the way through to the, to the rep season? Quite a long year. It is a long year. Um, I think if you look at it um, as a whole, a whole year, it, it can get a bit overwhelming. Um, for myself, I just take it week by week and then um, just let it go from there. Because, um, yeah, like I said before, if you focus on it on a big chunk like that, it, it can definitely make you feel flat and, and a lot longer than what it should be. Your third year now with West Tigers, I guess, what did you learn about the team and the club in 2016? Um, obviously a lot better than the previous year, which is what we wanted. We wanted to improve and, um, you know, it was just a bit disappointing towards that, towards the back end. We were playing some good footy and we just were unlucky um, against Canberra there at Leichhardt. But, you know, we're not far off and, you know, if, um, the boys are working hard um, this pre-season. So just getting a couple of, couple of combinations going, um, if we can get them right and obviously improve a little bit better than last year, then we'd, we'd be in the top eight, which is um, what, where we want to be uh, this year. Definitely want to be um, playing semi-final football come September. Particularly towards the back end of the year, that right edge was just on fire with you, yourself and Mitch and, and, Nof and Nofa. How did you find the combination? Yeah, it was good. Um, we definitely built a lot of confidence um, within each other. Um, just um, had a good, I guess, um, relationship um, from like with Mitch and Nofa and you know, it took a while, but, um, you know, we got it right at the end. And, you know, we're slowly just working um, back at it again this, this year with, with pre-season. And um, we're training a lot higher intensity than what we, we ever have. And it's good, uh, making it a lot harder than what the game would be. So um, by the time the game comes, hopefully it's a bit easier. But, um, yeah, like you said, it was playing some good footy. So we took a lot of confidence out of that and hopefully can use that to build into uh, this year team seemed to throw a bit of traffic at you guys defensively I guess how did you feel you handled that as a whole? Yeah um, no, not the best you know in patches we defended well um, obviously it's, we just want to do that consistently week in week out and that's what we're working on um, that's sort of been our main focus and um, you know we're working hard and it's going real good at the moment so um, real positive things are coming out of that um, in regards to what we've learned last year. 11 tries for you throughout the year, uh, your best kind of in single season tally. Were you happy, would you say it's your best year in the NRL? Um, yeah, well, <laughs> I guess if you, if you compare it to tries, it is, yeah. Um, my first season at centre, um, which is um, which was a massive uh, new position, but really enjoyed it, enjoyed the competition, enjoyed the, um, the work that came with it. But um, yeah, I definitely learned a lot um, within that position and um, can take a lot out of last year and um, hopefully have a bit better year this year. Playing for Fiji is always a proud moment for you. How much prouder was it to, to captain the side? Tell us about that experience. Yeah, it was um, obviously um, awesome, uh, very humbling um, and a great privilege to captain your country, uh, your heritage. Um, and I represent like my family, my, both my dad and my mum are both Fijian and my, when you go, when you talk about your aunties, your uncles, your ancestors, like before that, so it was a real honour uh, and a privilege. It was massive for myself. Um, obviously, my brother got to do a few, a few years captain in the Fiji team, and to have that was, um, yeah, it was a great privilege. Um, I definitely loved the, the opportunity and the challenge that came with it, but you know, the boys made it so much easier on myself. Um, they tell you, definitely took the load off, and um, I guess it was a more shared role than I felt like it was a responsibility just for one person and um, definitely took a lot out of it, learnt a lot and enjoyed it. Someone like Jamal Idris arriving at the club in 2017, someone you've played with before, how much has his arrival kind of freshened things up here? It's been good man, it's been awesome, he's a, he's a great character, great to have around the club. Um, he's been definitely keeping um, me, Timmy and um, some of the other boys on their toes which is good, it's healthy competition, it's what we need at the club, um, definitely got a lot of depth there and it's bringing the best out of um, each of us, you know, you have to come to training and switch them because, you know, at the end of the day, um, even though we're playing against other clubs, you're in competition within your, within your teammates as well. So um, it's definitely been um, a good addition to the, to the club and, and looking forward to um, what it can bring. When you look at your game overall, what do you see as the, the areas, I guess, that you, you kind of most want to work on in 2017? 
Um, for 2017, just um, more defensively and um, getting my defensive reads right. That's what I. That's what I've been practicing mainly this preseason, and the coach has been helping me with that heaps and my positioning and just scanning, looking at the passes, where the ball is, which is has been a lot, but it's been great. Um, that's pretty much what I've been focusing on and what I want to get better at. For you, you've been at a few clubs in your career. I guess, what is it about this club and particularly this team that we've got, you know, heading into 2017 that, that stands out as unique? Um, probably the, the youth that's within the squad. I've never played or been involved with a club that has such young people yet very talented young players. Um, you know, the club's definitely heading in a very good direction and um, you know, you, they're kids but mate, they're so talented and skillful, they play way above their age and it's good having two full seasons for most of the squad under their belt and there can only be a positive going into 2017 and um, you know, the boys, I think they're, 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 they're a bit disappointed with last year and like how close we are because I, I guess they see how much hard work it takes just to get there so um, um, you know just playing first grade is not enough anymore and um, I, for myself um, and I think the boys as well they want, they really want to be there September and um, be playing some semi-final football. And if we sat down in, in 12 months time and look back at 2017 what will have made it a success or, or not a success for you? For myself? Um, obviously just to play every game but taking it game by game I just want to improve on the player I was last year um, that's what I, that was my focus going into last year the year before and I know if I'm better myself from the year before then I'm definitely improving